You wanna create Pixar style shorts using consistent characters and consistent scenes using AI tools like Kling 2.1, Runway Gen 4, ChatGPT 4.0, Eleven Labs, and more. Animate them, troubleshoot common issues, lip sync, voiceover, and much more. We'll follow along as I show you. The story started with brainstorming some ideas with ChatGPT. Once I got the concept down, it was time to nail down the character images. Using ChatGPT 4.0's powerful image generator, I started the process. But in order to maintain consistent results, I needed to set up a project file in ChatGPT for all my image and scene generations. This was actually a huge time saver. I would highly recommend this. So I added Theo's backstory, his personality, his outfit, the other characters, and all the traits of that character. Now I'd hope to repeat myself every time I add a new prompt, I could just say, generate a shot of Theo waking up first thing in the morning, and ChatGPT will know who Theo is, what he looks like, and what his bedroom looks like. This becomes the brain of your production. You're not just prompting anymore, you're really directing. ChatGPT was mostly just for storyboarding, as it best understood what type of character shots and poses I was looking for, not only characters, but environments as well. Once I had the characters down, I'd generate static scenes of different environments like playground, bedroom, kitchen, woods, to ensure a consistent look throughout the video. If any characters or environments needed any specific edits that I wanted complete control over, I'd bring them into Photoshop and use selection tools and generative fill or the remove tool to clean it up. Now, once I have my reference characters and scenes ready, I can move on to my next AI tool, Runway Gen 4. The perks of using Runway Gen 4 was Runway actually has an unlimited plan, so you could output plenty of videos, you could upscale all the videos to 4K, and the Gen 4 model is actually pretty impressive and one of the best out there for consistency if you know how to use it correctly. Let me show you a quick walkthrough of how I use Runway Gen 4 for creating my specific images. Okay, so I'm in Runway Gen 4, and I'm gonna go over to the Image tab, and if I go under References down here, You'll see I have all of my references for my character and you see they're tagged. If I wanna create a new tag, upload an image. This could be a character or a place. So let's say I wanted to tag this as woods. You see the tag goes right there. All right, you see I have the other tags of my character here. So I'm gonna click on this one and I have Theo Adventure and this is just uh, identifying, you know, the outfit that he's in and the scene that he's actually in and I have woods. So I'm gonna start by adding a prompt that says, Theo Adventure, walking through the woods. And then I'll put wide, cinematic, Pixar style. And with styles, I can go over to styles and you see you could add a new style. To create a style, take an image that let's say you generate from ChatGPT and then all it does is it analyzes the image and adds a prompt to create a actual style for that specific image. So if I wanted to, I could save this and I could use this later on, but I already have a style that I created. So I'm gonna click on that one. From down here, I could make this 16 by nine, nine by 16. So I'm gonna keep this as 16 by nine and you could do four images or one and you could change the output. I'm gonna keep this as 1080 and I'm gonna hit generate. Okay, and there you have it, pretty good image of him walking through the woods. If I wanted to use this as a video, I could click on this, add a quick prompt, and generate. Another thing you could do, let's say I wanted to take this shot and I wanted an alternate angle. If I typed in, and then I could reference image one, side profile, close up shot. And then I could reference my character again if I wanted to. So I could type in side profile, close up shot of Theo Adventure. And you see it gives a side profile shot as I prompted. So I would basically use that workflow throughout the short, generating images and videos as I go. I noticed that Kling 2.1 gave me better results for some of my scenes that had more complex animations, like this shot of the bear licking my subject's face or my subject falling down the hill here. You can see here the failed attempts using Runway and Hail You Up. One of the hardest shots in the video actually was my character kicking the soccer ball into the net. After multiple attempts at it, the generative AI just did not know how to get that right. 
So I did it old school and I brought it into After Effects as separate layers and I animated it myself. This backup After Effects workflow actually helped me when creating trickier sequences like this one of Theo right before he falls down the hill. I animated the PNG character in After Effects and just used motion blur, rotation, and position parameters, which gave me complete control over a pivotal scene like that. For specific camera movements like this, I would use HaleUO's AI director model, which actually has some pretty amazing camera movements you could add for realistic, cinematic looking shots. One big issue I had throughout the creative process was actually generating my character animations without their lips moving. I mean, it would usually animate a character and have their mouth moving throughout the shot. I regenerated so many times trying to reprompt writing that character is silent, mouth not moving, and it still made him talk. The only workaround I actually found was using Runway's Act 1 tool. What was that? Runway's Act 1 is used to bring the characters to life. If I had dialogue that I want my character to say, I would click on the output and select Act 1. From here, you could record your character's performance within Runway, or you could upload a clip. Man, time flies. I prefer to upload a clip using my webcam and condenser mic. Where is he? Allowing me to use that audio file later on to change the voice. Where is he? I'll get to that next. But as I mentioned, there were scenes where I didn't want my character to speak but the output made his mouth move. So I would actually record an act one clip of me not moving my mouth, but maybe doing an animated facial movement, moving my head around, which helped it regenerate the clip to my liking. Here's a before and after. For voices, I used the popular Eleven Labs. There are a ton of pre-built voices you could use. So I used this one for Theo's voice. <laughs> you wanna play? Sometimes the text-to-speech can sound like a soulless robot. Wanna play? So instead of text-to-speech, I would use the voice changer and upload the audio or the video of me acting out the dialogue. Where is he? Once I line the video and audio up in Premiere, then it's a perfect sync with my character. Where is he? Speaking of Eleven Labs, I would use its sound effects generator to actually create most of my sound effects for the short along with some stock audio clips I downloaded. And for music, it was simply just finding the right mood and downloading the appropriate stock music clip. Kling also has a built-in audio generator that works pretty well, as you can see here. But it wasn't consistent enough to use for everything. So using a ton of different AI tools and maximizing the creativity of not only you, but the AI tools, you can create something pretty amazing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and be sure to check out the short that I created using this workflow right here.